digital SAT math flashcards, exponents plus radicals. The bth root of x to the a is equal to x to the a over b. Perhaps an easier way to remember this is that when you have a fractional exponent, the power goes on top and the root goes on the bottom. A helpful mnemonic some math teachers use is flower power. So flower rhymes with power. So the power goes on the top and flowers, just like all plants, have their roots at the base. For these examples, we'll first rewrite them, remembering that the implied exponent is 1 and that the implied radical index is 2. Now we can use power over root to rewrite them as x to the 1 half and x to the 1 third, respectively. These show up so often that they're worth knowing by heart. The square root is the 1 half power and the cube root is the 1 third power. We'll use the same logic to solve these examples. Note that in the third one, that x to the 16 over 8 simplified to 2x squared. To solve these examples, we'll once again use the same logic, just backwards. So remember, the power is the number on top, and the root is the number on the bottom. Note that in the second example, the implied exponent is 1, so we didn't need to put a 1 next to that x. In this example, I noticed that both the x and the y are each raised to the power of 8. We'll use the distributive law of exponents, but in reverse, to rewrite it like this. Now we can use the exact same logic we were before to rewrite it as xy in parentheses to the 8 over 5. Just note how important it was to put those parentheses there. Pause this video and take a second to read this example. I'm noticing in the answer choices that there's no 9s and 10s, so why don't we take all the choices on and put them on the next slide and change them into their fractional exponent form. We'll first rewrite all of these using power over root, but don't forget we have to simplify the fraction in each of these exponents. Once we do that, I notice that choice D was really b to the 9 tenths, just in disguise. This means choice D is the answer to the question. Pause this video and see if you can remember this important DSET math concept. 